it's finally over. No more mobs invading us. Woo! Okay. Hello guys, this is Apex, and today we are back with some more crackback. And... Yeah, well... Basically, we got a Magnum Torch. It... It took a while. But we got it. A lot of our diamonds are gone now. And all of our gold, pretty much, is gone now. But that's okay. Alright. So... This Magnum Torch disables mobs from spawning for, I think, 50 blocks or something. Now, will the auto spawner still work? I don't know. But we are going to test that right now. Or sometime close to now. Now is in when I can find my XP extractor. So maybe a little later than we once thought. Anyways, yeah, I just got tired of mobs spawning, so this is what's going to happen. Where the heck is this? Okay, well, I'm pretty confident that I just lost one of the more important things that I had. Oh, well. Yeah, it disappeared into thin air. Just kidding. Okay. So let's drain some XP here. Alrighty. Alright, so the mobs, the auto spawner still works. Perfect. The Spagnum torch is perfect. So it disables mobs from spawning 50 blocks away, but the auto spawner still works. So we are in full operation. That actually went smoother than I thought. And I know you can hide your um, magnum torch behind a wall. But I want to keep it out there for that proud achievement of no more zombie invasions. Because if you ask me, it's a pretty big deal. So yeah. Anyways, this is going to be a chatting episode Just blocking off the tunnels cause might as well enjoy this luxury while it lasts so yeah um crack pack news and stuff I may be doing a new series aside from crack pack uh, that will be on the nerdcraft smp server uh, it may be a May. I probably will get around to it, just not for a while. Because I still have to get stuff done on the vanilla server and stuff. So, you know how it is. Anyways, uh... Our auto spawner here. It is... It's been paying off. Yeah. it's It's been paying off, that's... To say the least, it's it's been pretty well to us. It's, it's actually been very nice to us. Like, look, look at this. This is insane. I need to take all these bows and combine them all. Okay, well, maybe not the enchanted bows, but, you know. Yeah, not the enchanted bows, but I'll take these bows. Make a better bow. And we can use an anvil. Oh crap, but we need XP. Oh well. Who cares? Uh, oh yeah, gunpowder for ICBM. That'll be helpful. Take some bone meal, some gunpowder. Take some arrows. These chests are just filled, holy jeez. Let's actually replace this tank. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, so um... I want to show you something that I worked on for a bit. And I got sort of far. 
Hence the word sort of. We shall see what it was. The office. Okay, so this is a printing press with ink and uh, whatever these are called. Print press plate. There. With a print press plate. That's a that's a mouthful. Okay. So you put your print press plate in there and then you're supposed to put a book and then it's supposed to work. But it's not working. Yeah, of course, because you know, if you do anything with Apex you gotta be ready for failure. Alright. So I don't know what's going on with this, but I was getting pretty far just experimenting. And what you can do is get a book placed down somewhere here. Just kind of wait till it places down. Oh, please select a book. Well, I don't have a book. Please select a book. Okay. Well, I don't have any books. I, I, I don't know. So yeah, we're still learning this, but it's. Well, I would sort of be lying if I said it's coming along, but it's not. Hey, you! I thought. All your kind is supposed to be good. Get out of my house. There can never be peace in my base. There always has to be... Invaders. Like, come on. It's my day off. I must say... The job of being a zombie assassin is sort of bland, but the life insurance is pretty good, so. So are the benefits. You get free massage every week and in office lunches and stuff. Anyways, uh. Yeah. I, I still don't know where these zombies are coming from. We need to put an end to this. Oh! Okay. Well, if they're coming from the surface, that sort of makes sense. But, we need to stop them. Wait. Oh crap. <laughs> Little zombies, I... Oh, why is my iron door wide open? Seriously? There, that's better. Alright. I love how this computer has just been here for a long time done nothing with it. Oh well. Oh yeah. I actually did get something out of it. An enchanted plate with Frugal One from that Frugal One book I had. So yeah. This will be our destructions chest and chest of other fun things. So we'll leave this in here. Actually, what we can do right now is Create a diamond shovel, which will mine super, super fast. If we can find wood, that is. Uh, yeah, I swear I need a tree farm badly. Alright. Okay. So now we have the resources to make and start ICBM. Except, ICBM bombs really aren't good for much unless you're on multiplayer, because players. I mean, it couldn't be, but ask yourself this. Is blowing up a, like a zombie or a creeper with red matter explosives that destroy about 150 by 150 by 50 really worth it? Or is that not a bit of overkill? Like, honestly. So, I don't know. <laughs> we need more AKMO. I think there's iron in the chest upstairs. But before we leave, we must be armed. So. Yes. Alright, so there's there. Here's the uh, uh, iron. And we're out of gunpowder. Not anymore. AKM. 
Only six mags, jeez. This stuff's expensive. My iron supply is almost out. Alright, well. If you wanna be like that, fill your boots. Okay. Three, two, one, let's go. Cue yakety sacks to that. Zombie rush. Alright. So the zombies always plan very uncoordinated attacks. So yeah. Hello, Etho. Just gonna borrow my bow. I'll give you this one. Thanks, Etho. Oh, wait a second. Let's make Etho look like a crazy person. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we kind of need this, Etho. I'm sorry. I want to know why we need this. Because this... Thank you, Etho. Etho, you deserve your original bow back. Thank you. Scrub get killed by a pickaxe. Alright, so... We want to get as much sand as we can for TNT. We may be short on iron, but we are not short on TNT. And one of the main bases is... Bases... B basics... Y you, you should clue into what I'm trying to say. Uh, of ICBM. Are the gunpowder. Or is the gunpowder. Are the explosives. Slash gunpowder. Slash... Yes, that sort of stuff. Alright, so... The stack of sand, it's, it's not enough. We must mine all the sand. Till there's no more. Well, maybe not that much, but... We should still get a lot. Alright, uh... So yeah, let's be mining sand for a while, and I say so yeah too much, because it is a good filler. A good staller. It's uh, something to say. So yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright. It's like a little base down here, jeez. A little bunker. I wish sponges still worked in Minecraft. Sponges were the best for faction servers, just for making bases underground in general. They were so helpful. Back in the day when Minecraft didn't have like power 6 and protection 8 or whatever. And faction servers were actually vanilla and like no enchantments, actual skill coordinated stuff. People still use leather armor. Like I remember being confronted, I had this faction base that was pretty big actually. It was like a castle. And uh... Jeez, come to think of it, I had so many factions that I used to be in, it's insane. I can't believe it. It's like thinking back to my DayZ days last year. All the memories that... I don't know, just sometimes games can be so memorable. You just remember them for a long time. Actually, they're not... You're not reusable, so get out of here. Get Arcus curted. Crap, why did I reload that? Oh well, let's just chuck this. Alright, so we're back at our base with our TNT materials. And before we end this, when end the end off this episode, we want to create some t oh that, well that's a neat alternative. Alright. Okay. Oh man, hype. The hype is building. I may need more gunpowder. Hype, hype, hype. Okay. This sort of crafting is a bit sketchy, I guess. Alright, and in celebration. Let's touch one of these off. Preferably not in our base, but... But it's possible. 
Ah, uh, let's do it in our base, because why not? Well, that was eventful. It's amazing. TNT always seems to do much more damage than it actually does, because it takes out torches. And you're like, oh no, the lights went out. But yeah. So everyone, thanks for watching, and I will see you next episode. Thank you, our alien, for being my guard. Actually, we need to give you something worthy of guarding us. Okay, that, that's not glitchy at all, is it? And we need to give Etho something, too. Just to be fair. Alright. Hello, Etho. We are going to give you something. Yolo swag. <laughs>